Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the uh, bending moment and shear force calculation. So the question is, a simply supported beam of 8 meter long carries a point load of 50 kilo newton at 2 meter left end. In addition to it carries an UDL of 10 kilo newton per meter over right half of the span. Draw bending moment and shear force diagram. So the given is, so first we have to draw the beam so simply supported beam so this is a simply supported beam having simply supported in both ends so the a and b okay so from that it carries a 8 meter uh, span okay so the length of uh, span is 8 meter okay carries a point load of 50 kilo newton at 2 meter from its left hand so this is the left hand so from this left hand 2 meter so it carries here point load that is 50 kilo newton over here okay next in, in addition to that UDL of 10 kilo newton per meter over the right half so it's a right half so this is a right half so half the distance so 4 meter it carries here 10 kilo newton per meter UDL okay so we have to draw the bending moment and shear force diagram okay so first we have to know the ra and rb so the reactions so from reactions so sum of upward force and downward force equal to so sum of upward ra plus rb equal to sum of downward forces that is 50 kilo newton point load again plus 4 into 10 that is udl so 4 into 10 kilo newton okay so now RA plus RB equal to the value is uh, the value is 90 okay so now we can take the moment about B so now moment about B so now RA into 8 meter okay so this is clockwise force then minus 50 that is anti clockwise force 50 into the distance is uh, here 2 meter 4 meters so totally 6 meters again we have the uh, udl so minus 10 into the 4 distance into distance by 2 that is 4 by 2 okay equal to 0 so now we can take 8 or a equal to 50 into 6 sorry 50 into 6 is minus 300 again minus this is 2 so 10 4 into 8 80 equal to 0 okay now 8 or a equal to uh, 380 so now r a equal to 380 divided by 8 so now r a equal to 47.5 kilo newton so now we already know the relationship Re plus Rp equal to 90. So now we can substitute over here. So now Rb equal to 90 minus Re. So now the value is uh, 90 minus 47.5. So now Rb equal to 42.5 kN. So now we find out uh, Re and Rb. So the reactions. So the RA value is uh, 47.5 kN and RB value is 42.5 kN. Okay, so from that we can uh, calculate the shear force first. So SFD calculation. So now uh, we can take this, uh, this is A portion, then this is B point. So now we can take SF at A. So shear force at A is uh, in A there is a uh, left side and right side. So the in the point left side there is no forces and right side we have the force of RA. So that is a point load. So that is uh, again clockwise force. So positive 47.5 kilo newton. Okay. So now SF at this is we can take C. SFRC 
in uh, c right uh, so left side there is no forces and uh, if there, we can take right side so there is a 50 kilonewton downward force over here so now the 47.5 minus 50 so that is 50 is anti clockwise so we can uh, have 2.5 minus 2.5 kilonewton okay so remaining we can take this d so from that uh, c to d so there is no forces over here so then we can take directly we can take the b okay so now sf at d that is same 2.5 kilonewton because there is no uh, forces over here after that we can take the b so sf at b so in the in that we can take left side sf at b left side so left side we have the force of 10 into 4 okay minus 2.5 again so this is uh, left side this is uh, again anti clockwise force minus 4 into 10 so that is again minus 42.5 kilonewton okay so after that we can take sf at b right side so from that right side we can take the clockwise force so uh, minus 42.5 again plus clockwise force 42.5 is over here so that we can take we can have the zero value okay so now we can draw the diagram so from that the positive uh, 47.5 so again the up to c it having same then uh, it will come under minus 2.5 so that is 47.5 here minus 2.5 okay so it will be maintained uh, till d okay after that we have the minus 42.5 so here minus 42.5 okay after that uh, in b right side we have 0 okay so this is the CF force diagram so this is positive then here is negative okay likewise we have to uh, calculate the bending moment so we can take the beam so now bending moment at A is uh, 0 okay and uh, another thing is uh, we can take bending moment at C so in the bending moment at C so we having the forces of uh, RA and C value okay so now we can take uh, uh, ra into the distance that is 47.5 into 2 meter okay so 47.5 into 2 equal to 95 kilonewton okay so now the value is 95 okay again uh, we having the there is no forces over here but we having the force of 50 kilonewton in the d so we can this is for c and this is for d we having the 47.5 into the distance is 4 meter okay so again this is the clockwise force and this is anti clockwise force so 50 into 2 meter okay solving this we got the value of 90 okay so 90 is a positive value so we can take up to here it's 90 okay so after that we have to know uh, the b uh, bending moment at uh, b so bending moment b so we having the ra 47.5 into 8 meter again we having the anti clockwise force 50 into so the distance is 6 meter okay again minus so the value is uh, 4 into 10 into 4 by so solving this we got the value of 0 because so this is 380 this is 380 so we have 0 over here ok so this is the positive bending moments ok so this is a SFD so there is a force diagram this is bending moment diagram ok so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see in next video thank you